Okay guys, time for another uh, beer review. Today, I'm going to be doing the Centennial Smash. Very similar recipe uh, to mine. This one is from Norfolk and Good. And uh, as you can see, it's a little low on the bottle. So already I'm feeling a little bit cheated here. <laughs> That's alright. I'm just kidding. Um, and I don't know if you can pick that up, but there's quite a bit of sediment in there. Um, it's like, this is probably maybe one of the last bottles he was able to get. Uh, but there's quite a bit of debris sort of floating in there. But anyways, let's go ahead, get it in the glass, and I'll uh, tell you what I think. I'm going to go ahead and fill this one out outside again today, standing up. Um, here we go. Had a pretty good hiss on that. See the bubbles already rising. He uh, used new caps on that one, so that was good. Here we go. Let's get the pour. It's pretty lively, so I'll take it slow. You can see quite a bit of the hop debris going up into the beer. I'll leave it at that. So there we go. Beautiful head on that thing. It's got a great head. It's a little bit cloudy. So we'll go ahead and just let that settle down a bit. Alright, there we go. It's getting down there pretty good. Let's go ahead and get another aroma test on it. It's got a really nice aroma. That Centennial, I just love that Centennial. I mean, it's fantastic. Um, in terms of clarity and the head, for appearance, I'm going to give this one a 3. Solid 3. The aroma on it, from 1 to 10, its intensity is probably right around a 4. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Take a swig. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It's got this twanginess to it. It's kind of really nice. It's unexpected. But I do get behind that the Centennial that I know and really like. A lot of carbonation, bubbles dancing on the top of my tongue. It's probably about a, a light to medium mouthfeel. The carbonation just continues to stream up. Let's see if we can see that. It's really good. Swirl it around, head comes right back. That's fantastic. Really good aroma. Sticks around. Let's go ahead and take another swig. Cheers. The Centennial taste on a scale from 1 to 10, level of intensity is probably like a 3. The tanginess is almost like it's grassy. It's um, it is sort of chlorofloral grassy type tangy um, tangy grass. So that sort of is the forefront. You get the centennial smoothness, earthiness, floral, grapefruity, a little bit. Um, it's a really nice beer. If I was to pick this up for a nice pale ale, I'd be very happy with it. Very happy. I'd definitely pay for that. It's a nice taste. It hits you the same every time. It's refreshing. 
This would probably go great with some Mexican food. Something a bit spicy. It's got a light bitterness. The bitterness is sort of on a scale from 1 to 10, it's probably about a 3. It's not so intense, but it's enough in order to cut through any of those spices that are sort of right up there. Mm. It's got a sweetness to it sticking to the top of the back of my throat. It's very nice. In terms of the aroma, I'm going to give it um, it's a nice aroma, but it's not intense. So I'm going to give it a 3. Aroma is a 3. For the flavor, continuing to enjoy it. <laughs> it's really good. In terms of flavor though, for a smash beer, solid 9. I'm giving this baby a 9. It's really good. It's that good. Um, malt grain combo. Again, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Maris Otter and Centennial is like a match made in heaven. So, I'm definitely giving this, for the combo, a 5. I really, really like that combination. That's the way it goes. So, anyways, Norfolk and good. It's pretty good. So, uh, cheers to you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. And uh, see you on the next review. Cheers.